TomTom Tom invited us to Amsterdam to see how their maps are made. The final video in the series looks at how map changes are detected and applied to the maps. The first part of the process is to detect changes on the ground. This is done using probe data, community input and traditional sources. Once the information is in the database it is verified. This is done in a number of ways including TomTom's guided community. Having accepted a change to the map data, it is then committed to the master database ready for distribution. Depending on the type of change, it can be distributed via MapShare immediately, or it may need to await a quarterly map refresh. Let's have a look at this process in TomTom's map editor, Cartopia. Okay, so the, 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 the map data that we've got here is the, is the, uh, the overlay. Where, where, where's that from? That's from... The, the overlay? Yes. It's the TomTom map. It's, that's, that's the TomTom map as currently released. No, it's a it's an, an old version. Uh, it's the previous release or the release after. Uh, I, but I don't know which one. I mean, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's fair enough. Because obviously the roads changed since then because this is the new junction. So if, um, you can, can you put um, go in there and put some some of the overlays in now. So this is now showing the different probes that, that from the. Uh, Tom Tom devices you have out there, and that actually shows the, the different colors show the direction of travel. Yes. So <coughs> you can you can see that there's the roundabout here, but there's um, a line of tra traffic that's traveling counter to what you've actually got in, in the inside, database. Inside this roundabout and that this this part there yeah, is is missing, so uh, it will be uh, edited and uh, added. To, to our map. Um. And there, there are a number of different other overlays that you can use here. So, um, for instance, you can use the uh, satellite imagery. Can we switch that on to see how that relates to what we're looking at? So you can actually see the, the, the construction work that's been going on over the last few months. Then can we overlay the probe data on top of that as well? Because you can just about see that that work going through there, can't you? On that, that road. And there you go. You can actually see it. Yeah. Right. Yes. So this this means that you don't actually have to take your van or take a, a surveying out there to actually genuinely work out exactly what the road geometry is like now. For the geometry, but not for all the additional uh, attributes we can have, like numbers of lane or that kind of things. No, this is not possible to do with, with just with that tool. But it gives you the basic geometry, so yes. you can change the, the data pretty quickly. Yes. And then you obviously need to get uh, people out there to look and find out what the other attributes are. When you have the correct instruction, turn left, turn right, it's already uh, a good point. And then if it says to you, okay, take the second lane or the third lane, it's, it's better. But... Uh, yeah. Yeah, in this case, uh, the geometry will be edited. Eh? Mm. But it's, it's better than get going on to that roundabout and then being told you have to go all the way around here when you can just go straight like Yes, that. that's true. This is the current map data and a route around the roundabout. Unfortunately, the roundabout only allows clockwise travel now. So to make my TomTom work properly, I went to the TomTom MapShare site and made changes to the various road sections on the roundabout, putting in one way and turn restrictions. In theory, once accepted, they would be sent to everyone by MapShare. However, after a few days, my MapShare had not been updated, so I entered them directly onto my TomTom. -tom. You can see the resulting changes on the map here, and the new route goes the long way round the roundabout. Although not perfect, you can see the power of MapShare on major road alterations.